Welcome, this is Ryan Chapman from Fix Your Funnel, and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to use the new Campaign Builder HTTP post. This is going to allow you to send out text messages if you're using our send out cards or custom card service, it'll allow you to do that as well. So let's go ahead and get in. I've got a, a sample campaign here, and I've got a, a new sequence here, so I'll click in that sequence. In this sequence all I have is an HTTP post. So I put my post in here, and then I am going to jump over into this um, outbound text message in my fixer funnel. So here I am. This is the one we're working with here. So as you can see, I've got first name in there, and I'm sending this immediately, which I want to do because I want to let uh, Infusionsoft now handle the timing. And if you're using the new campaign builder, um, it has a lot more control over timing. So I prefer that whenever possible, let Infusionsoft handle that to reduce um, any potential problems. So we got the phone number. Okay, I've got that in there. I've, so all I have in here is I'm using basically the phone number I want to send the text message to, the contact ID of the contact so that I can get a note put back in Infusionsoft, and then I've merged in the first name. Now whatever things I've merged into my text message, that's what I need to make sure I have right here. So I have ID, it's capital I, lowercase d, phone 5, because that's the phone field I use in my Infusionsoft. And you'll notice the trend here. Here's the first name. So this value pairs connection, this is kind of a little complicated for the average person. I'm surprised they, they went this route, but I can see why they did it for other purposes. But basically you'll see that after the, the little tilia, tilde or whatever this is called, and contact, and then the period, there is uh, these characters here, so ID. And then over here I have ID, and then phone five, and I have phone five. I've got first name, and I've got first name. So that's what you transfer over here for the name. The value, of course, you know you, you get through using the merge field. You, you put your cursor in there, and then find the field. Now this applies for any field in the contact record. If you're pushing it over, and it's in the list, it's gonna come through. So this is really great. Uh, for being able to get that done. It's a little more complicated because you don't have to just drop in the URL. Um, the other thing that is kind of omission, I'm sure they're gonna pick this up in a future release, is they don't have any rules here. I like to put rules on my post in my follow-up sequences to check to see if a cell number is present. Now, if I'm gonna be doing this for a card, I'm gonna show you that same thing here. So it doesn't matter if it's trackable cards or send out cards. I'm gonna use send out cards just as an example here. I'm going to go to my actions. So what we're really looking for is that we've indicated the billing address as the address we're going to send. So we need to make sure that billing address comes over. So if I was doing that, instead of sending the phone field, I'm going to send my first name because I'm merging my first name. I need to also send the last name even if I'm not merging it into the body of the card because that's used for mailing the card out. So I would click on the plus, I come over here, click on merge. I'm going to go to the most common because I'm looking for last name. Um, I'm going to do another one here for the address. So I'm going to come down here to uh, contact fields additional. And the first address that you hit is going to be the billing address. The next one will be the shipping address. It would be nice if they, they separated that, but just you'll have to know that it's the first one. I'm going to add a few here. So now I can do address two. City, state, postal code, and I do need the country, okay? And th that's what I need to come over. As far as the names go, it's just this portion like I described earlier in the video. As I was running some tests, um, I was impressed to see how quickly this responds. I added a tag to somebody, and as soon as the tag was added, it literally, literally took um, about 30 seconds before I had the text message on my phone. Um, obviously, with cards, it's not that critical that it be that quick, but with text messaging, that's how quick it was. So this is going to allow you some, to do some really neat things with text messaging. Um, I'm using text messages in a lot of ways that I would normally use email to send a quick message to get a, a small bit of information across. If you haven't already seen our 
mobile marketing methods number 19 video on Facebook or on our website, you should check that out and you can see uh, how you can send even more information in a text message. But powerful tool. I'm really excited that they got it the camp campaign builder. I know they'll continue to improve it, but this is a great step in the right direction. So um, congratulations to Infusionsoft and hope you enjoy using this new power inside of the campaign builder. Mm -hmm.